That didn't take long at all. That didn't take long at all. Oh, that's a big bass. That's a giant. Christ. Where's my net? Christ, that's a big one. On this frog. Oh, oh. That's gotta be almost a 50. That's almost a 50. He's got a bit of damage on his top, but that's got to be almost a 50. In the little creek. <laughs> yep, I reckon that is. Let's get him out of the net and I'll show you guys. Oh, what? Yep. Yes, sir, I think so. That's got to be. That's a chunky fish. If it's not, it's got to be close. He's got a bit of damage on that top there, but... Oh, beautiful stuff. Not very long into the session today. On that little tiny finesse frog. I used to throw it all the time, but I haven't thrown it for a couple of years or a couple of seasons now. And um, yeah, what's that, like third or fourth cast with it? On my 1,000 size setup. <laughs> oh, we could be in for a good day. Good afternoon today. Oh, straight off the top, how cool is that? How amazing is that? That's a good fish, eh? Good stuff. God, I love these fish. Especially this year, with these floods and stuff. It's really, really uh, benefit this species, that's for sure. Such a girthy fish. He's out of here. I was not expecting it that, that early. It's like 100% cloud cover. And uh, yeah, I've been doing a bit of work today and I was like, stuff it, I'm just gonna go for a fish. So went for a little fish and what, five minutes into the session? <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. All right, we might keep going with some more surface lures and stuff. But um, yeah, I've got a couple of different lures that I wanna try as well. So hopefully I can show you those guys and um, yeah, hopefully we can get on some fish. A cool, cool way to start the session though. Yes, come on. Might just throw this frog around a bit. Just a bit longer. You can see with this sort of frogging lure, it's been done for years. The bass and jacks and the like. But basically all you're doing is just skipping it in as far as you can deep into the structure and then just burning it back. Can do some pauses if you want but generally they're gonna hit it whilst it's just rolling. Obviously like this cloud cover and stuff's gonna help me today. Getting it right deep into structure. And because it's weedless, you don't really have to worry about it snagging up or anything. And with this overcast conditions, they could be anywhere, they could be on any of these snags, really shallow, really deep. Who really knows? Okay. How good. It's only a little one. It's only a tiny bubba. <laughs> uh, I was just doubting myself whether the top water was going to work. 
There we go. Number two. It's half the size of that other one. And use the wee tucker. See you, mate. Cool. Let's see if there's any more. Good to see that there's pretty murky water, but they're gonna willing to hit a top water. So I've got a lure that I might try a little bit later on and see how we go. So that's giving me confidence to keep going. There's some top water on that duo pencil that you guys all know now. If you've watched any of my last videos, it's literally the only thing I've been throwing. So for obvious reasons, catch micro fish. You got it? No, you missed it. Damn. Oh, you got it. Has he swiped it? You got it? You got it. Yeah. He came back for it. Oh, I was teabagging it. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, Christ. I was teabagging it and he just slurped it. Okay. Oh, he woofed it down. He's inhaled it. Oh, they're on fire today. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. That's a nice one. Oh, yes. That's another quality one. How good's that? How good's that? Oh, yes. Oh, probably wasn't the best angle, but I skipped it right up over those little, little twigs at the end of the snag there and um, he swiped it and missed it and it went over and I teabagged it and I was just dropping it and he just went whoop very very subtle hit but um, no that's a good one happy with that I think he wanted that <laughs> oh that's so cool it's about a 40 35 40 probably must be the other one but super healthy and super stocky eh just loving the little frog there we go Beautiful fish on top water on the frog. So cool. So, so cool. I'll put you back where the snaggy came from, mate. So sick in this rain. So cool. Well, didn't think the frog would be killing it today. Very cool. He was just sitting like right in the middle of these snags here, like just off the edge here. And it was over one of those little twigs wrapped around it and I was just bobbing it like this. And he smacked it still. Does it get much better than throwing surface to be honest? No, definitely doesn't. I've said it many times before in other videos and other species and stuff is I much prefer one on surface and five subsurface, you know. Unless it's a jack, I'm not fussy. <laughs> There's so much bait here. Along these grass lines. Basakeen in on. Little mullet and little Herring and stuff. We'll just cast along this grass line here. Just because I've seen a bit of bait. A little bit of bait. Oil on it. Come on. What it? Such a lazy hit. 
That's not a lazy hit. There he is. He's, oh. He's running with it. That was a lazy, lazy swirl to start off with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Such a lazy swirl to start off with. Such a lazy swirl. Wow. And then just put it back in there and just worked it back. Oh. There we go. Another one. Heck, it's that. Another 40 or so. They're so chunky and they're loving the top water. I'm loving that too. It's just on and off drizzly rain. It's not worth probably taking the camera out for. That's our fourth one for the Savi. Oh, chill, mate. Oh, so aggressive. And so tummied up too, eh? There we go, another 40 probably. Beautiful fish, look at the eyes on them, eh? You can see why they can hone in on those lures pretty well. Such a cool fish, so underrated, eh? I love them. I love them so much. See you, mate. One. Yeah, good. I don't think he's as big. Oh, he's not too bad. Not the giants that we've been getting today, but like that first one. It's still a good fish, nonetheless. There we go. Good little one. Get the net for him. Oh, mate. There you go. Yes, there we go. Number five, I think. Number five. There we go. Another one. About 30, probably 35. Almost 40, probably. Very cool. This is a, this is the cool size that you know. There's they're plentiful, but they go pretty hard, especially on the like gear. They're just all built. They're not like super thin or anything like that. They've definitely got a little bit of a tummy on them, which is cool to see. Very very cool. See you, mate. There he was.